நெஞ்சுக்கு நீதியும் தோளுக்கு வாழும் நிறைந்த சுடர் மணிப்பூ நெஞ்சுக்கு நீதியும் தோளுக்கு வாழும் நிறைந்த சுடர் மணிப்பூ பஞ்சுக்கு நேர் பல துன்பங்களாம் இவள் பவைக்கு நேர் பெருந்தி வஞ்சனையின்றி பகையின்றி சூதின்றி வையகமாதரெல்லாம் வஞ்சனையின்றி பகையின்றி சூதின்றி வையகமாதரெல்லாம் தல்ஜம் என்ற உறுப்பீரவள் பேர் சக்தி ஓம் சக்தி ஓம் சக்தி ஓம் தல்ஜம் என்ற உறுப்பீரவள் பேர் சக்தி ஓம் சக்தி ஓம் சக்தி ஓம் தல்ஜம் என்ற உறுப்பீரவள் பேர் சக்தி ஓம் சக்தி ஓம் சக்தி ஓம் ஐ சே நோ டு வயலன்ஸ் அகேன்ஸ்ட் விமன் the moment we hear the word violence i think in all of our minds we we see images of uh women hurt physically hurt and battered abused physically abused by mainly men of course but the word violence by itself refers to something larger and 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 more wider than just physical injury in fact violence has its roots not in the physicality of it but in the thought of it and when we talk about violence i think we have to first recognize that it is a result of a sense of power a sense of control that these people seem to think they have over the women in their houses this is what we need to address first we need to address the basic idea of violence the basic feeling of having control power actually this is not power and this is not control if there's anybody who has the power and control it is these numerous women who have the resilience who have had the courage who have had the guts to say no the courage to stop the resilience to to even uh, withstand all that has happened so when we when we talk about violence against women i think we need to first address the root the idea the concept of violence that is embedded in our psyche especially the male psyche the male psyche has it somewhere genetically or sociologically that it is the more powerful of the two sexes and from that single thought that all of us refuse to accept because we think we are educated we think we are urban we think because we don't treat our wives that way we don't have that thought i think it's a lie i think every man somewhere embedded in his head has a violent streak because he does believe that he is the more powerful of the two sexes unless as a community and as a as a social construct that we are we are first willing to honestly accept that for every individual I don't think we'll address the problem. We will help women who are battered. We will we will give them a better environment. We will help them in their lives, but that doesn't deal with the larger spectrum of the problem, which is a problem of a thought, problem of a a certain perception. So, when I say no to violence against women, I am also saying no to the thought that we men are more powerful. I have to talk about that for myself. I am I willing to address that issue that I have in my head which challenges my my masculinity in some way. Unless I am willing to address that issue, I am nobody to preach this to anybody. Of course I have every right to stop physical violence, but physical violence is only an end product. It's only what happens after a certain thought is completely embedded in our heads. And if we can start a journey that starts with every individual and addresses this i think we will go a long way in changing how our children the next generation perceives themselves as men especially i think they have to perceive themselves differently they have to perceive power differently they have to perceive control differently power and control has got nothing to do with me being able to get somebody to do what i want by force mental or physical force i say no 
to violence against women and i am tm krishna jamendre uri piraval pe shakti om shakti om shakti om